Hey you, Jay here, and this is my roommate Ella. So I am an artist, and I'm gonna draw some conclusions, so to speak. Get it? Draw. But then you have a brain. You may draw your own. Please tell us. Maybe we'll all learn something. It's hard to squeeze Ed Kemper into that serial killer box, but then it would be hard to fit Kemper into any box since he's six foot nine and weighed about 300 pounds when he was on the loose. Why would any girl take a ride from him? Didn't he look scary, especially after girls went missing and the co-eds were warned not to hitchhike? Weighing in at a strapping 13 pounds. Kemper was born in 1948. Born into, surprise, surprise, a very dysfunctional family. His mother, let's face it, hated his guts. She didn't like his dad much either, since they divorced when Big Ed was Little Ed at age nine. She locked Little Ed in the basement with the rats and told him no woman would ever love him. She thought showing affection to him would turn him gay. He ran off to his dad at age 14, who promptly sent him to live with his grandparents out in the boonies. He shot his grandma dead and shot his grandpa dead too so he wouldn't grieve for his dead wife. He was sent to a Tascadero mental hospital. Ed is one of the few serial killers who actually is a genius with an IQ of 145. Contrary to popular opinion, lots of them are dummies. At the mental hospital, he helped the staff, was friendly and cooperative, and was released at age 21. The shrinks recommended that he not live with his mother he moved back in with his mother. Not so long ago, shrinks blamed everything on the mothers, from homosexuality to schizophrenia. Seriously, women were considered at least stupid and likely evil. They blamed Bundy's mother, who was a sweetie, but not his father, who knocked up a young lady and then jetted to dodge any responsibility. Having said all that, Ed Kemper's mother was a shrew. Serial killer profiles are not gospel. They are probabilities based on statistics, which are useful until you give the 40-year-old a pass because the profile says you're looking for someone in their 20s. How well does Kemper fit the serial killer box? Well, it is reported he buried a cat alive when he was a child, so there's animal cruelty. I don't think that popping the head off his sister's Barbie was a serial killer danger sign, though. I mean, come on, haven't we all popped the head off a Barbie? Or is it just me? Supposedly, he peeped into his second grade teacher's window. That's a red flag. Ever notice how many killers start out as peepers? Maybe they should take DNA from all the peepers. And how old are you in second grade anyway? Seven? But then Bundy put those knives on his aunt's bed when he was three, and Jerry Bruto started his fetish at age five. What the? Ed killed six co-eds in just a year. My heart hurts for their families. What did they get in the car with Big Ed? Well, for one thing, his mom worked at the university, and he had a university sticker on his car. He was polite and friendly, and he looked like a really big nerd. Furthermore, hitchhiking was a common practice back then. He gave about 150 girls a ride just fine before he started killing them. At the end, he decided to bludgeon his mom with a hammer, cut off her head, have sex with it, and throw her vocal cords down the garbage disposal. He killed her best friend too, reasoning that this would somehow cover up the crime. Then he drove away from California to Colorado. But with his mother dead, he ran out of mental steam. Quote, the original purpose was gone. Emotionally, I couldn't handle it anymore. End quote. He turned himself in and confessed. Big Ed doesn't fit into the box. How many of these guys turn themselves in? How many confess? How many try to explain why? He got multiple life sentences though he had requested death. He's a model prisoner, 
and makes ceramic cups for gifts and records audiobooks for the blind. Ed Kemper doesn't fit into the box. Maybe none of us fit into any box, but don't take my word for it. Watch his interviews and decide for yourself. The link is below in the description. Remember, think responsibly. Stay awesome.